the silver strategy is the topic of my video today. And uh, before I uh, go on and discuss what my strategy is uh, on silver, I would like to, to discuss how I got here. I got here because I learned three years ago that our monetary system transfers wealth from the poor and the middle class to the rich. This was a shocking revelation to me that was uh, told to me by Ron Paul. He said this and uh, when no one uh, disputed him I had to learn what this was all about. Now after reading this book The Creature from Jekyll Island I gained uh, two perspectives from this. One was my god our system is totally unfair and my god this is how you could make a lot of money. To give you an example of how, of how um, I understand that concept extremely well, if I were to own the Royal Silver Company, which produces the only uh, point nine nine five nine fine silver, which does so with zero zero impact to the environment, I would first off. Um, start off uh, a, a, a philanthropy movement for the environment and get the government to ensure that no other mines produce silver um, without using my technique which I have patented. This is an example of how our monetary system came into being today. It got the government to say that this is money. So, thus, if you wish to make money in this world now, you just have to get the government to force people to buy your products or to use your products or your methodologies. And that is our system uh, of uh, economic system today. So now that I understand that this Federal Reserve notes which transfers wealth from the, the poor and the middle class to the rich was given to us by force of the government. I have a choice now, now that I understand that. To um, use this, these things, or continue to use these things. Now, I choose to support freedom, right? Maybe, maybe, sure. There's 75, there's a 75% chance, percent chance that, that this will, this will be worth more, a little bit more in the future than these things because, you know, um, you know, the charts say so and, and we might not be successful in crashing JP Morgan. Might not. But I'd rather put rather put my bets on a 25% chance that that we do take them out I because I don't want to support this system at all and that is why I'm holding silver so what is my long-term strategy for silver when do I plan to sell silver well clearly because um, we were fooled into uh, giving up this for these things people are going to be fooled again to giving up these things for some sort of paper note in the future. So one thing I'm going to buy is one is a house when a house is worth 500 ounces. Now, I don't care about the dollar price because the how the, do the dollar price of this I don't care about. The dollar price could be five dollars an ounce, but if a house is 2,500 bucks, right? Uh, that's all that, that mattered to me. Now you're saying, well, how, well then if 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 a house was twenty five hundred dollars, you should have held dollars because, like, Jesus, Da Vinci, uh, uh, you could have sold your silver right now, right, and uh, kept that uh, that cash, right? Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. I could have kept the cash. Uh, and then the house, the, the the housing values dropped to twenty five hundred dollars, and I would have made a lot of uh, 
uh, would have been able to, to buy that house for really cheap. Really, really cheap. Still have a lot of money left over. However, in order for that to happen, as you know, um, uh, the government would have to decide, hey, uh, we're going to do things right. Uh, no more bailouts for anybody. We're going to actually let the banks fail. We're not, all, not only that, when the banks fail, uh, we're not going to cover um, uh, insurance, the, the FDIC insurance, because it's broke anyway, so we don't have the money for that. So, sorry, you're so sad, you're out of, you're out of luck. That is what would have to happen. Now, if you actually believe that's going to happen, then I suggest you go to your bank and buy a lot of these things and store them away. But if you don't, if you think the government's going to print up the money and bail everyone out, then this is money. Now, what what I finally plan to do once once I uh, w once I, I buy my house, I plan to have also um, money for retirement, and um, the best thing for hold for retirement is unfortunately not these things because um, again people don't um, people can be fooled back into these things again. So, but bankers don't. So that's why bankers hold gold. And so I'm going to hold gold. And that's going, that's going to be my savings. Sure. Along the way, um, I might buy something with my gold. Maybe a company or something like that. But my overall, as I make any kind of income, it's going to go into either one of these two things. Gold or silver. And I'm going to be saving that. Will I... Will I um, purchase a debt note, right? Whether it's, it's it's this paper note and keep it, hells no. Would I buy um, a sovereign debt where uh, where they enslave the government? I mean, the government enslaves the population um, to uh, pay me my interest. I don't know. I can't say for sure, but I, I'm leaning against that, doing that, um, and just saving gold and using gold as my and the savings result, and I plan to do that. The gold is um, the gold to silver ratio. The silver to gold ratio is at forty to one and lower. I'm gonna start uh, going uh, back and forth between gold and silver. So when it gets to forty to one, I'll go some sell some of my silver into gold. When it goes back up to, to above fifty to one, I'll go back and in, back into silver. Um, and then as it goes lower. Like the 30 to 1, I'll go back into to, to gold. And if it goes up to 40 to 1, I'll just sell a little bit of the gold and uh, go back into silver again. So that's how it's going to be back and forth all the way down to... Um, uh, once it gets to 1 to 1, I'm going to pretty much mostly out of, of silver. We'll have some silver left. Um, but I, if it gets down to 1 to 1, I'm going to be um, in gold. So notice what my strategy is. My strategy is never to get back into a, 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 an instrument of, of pain and suffering around the world. It's to get into what free men and free people should be using as their money. Because we decide what's this worth, not the government and not some banker who tries to, to uh, move the values around. And cut. Here you go. <laughs> You're joking, right? What's this? Your payment. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. This is what I'm looking for. Gold and silver is money and nothing else.